Hello there, I'm Marla Blackwell at Blackwell Studio, northwest of Cochrane. Today I am going to do a demo of a landscape painting in a very impressionist, uh, unrealistic way. So, of course, there are many ways to paint landscapes, but on this demo, it's going to be loose and fun, and it's always a question that my students ask me is how to loosen up their paintings. Okay, so let's get started with the demo. Normally, um, I would do some kind of a plan or a thumbnail sketch. As my students know, that's kind of a good idea to do that. But I do a lot of landscape painting, so I don't feel like I really need to do that today. Um, this is what I will be painting, or it, it will not it will not look like that exactly, but I hope to capture the feel of it. Painting is a very emotional process, it's a passionate process, and um, I, I actually really hope to uh, demonstrate that today. In this demo, I would like to use as few colors as possible. So we have white, we have yellow ochre, cad yellow light, so cool yellow, warm yellow, um, quinacridone magenta, transparent red iron oxide, warm red, cool red, and ultramarine blue and phthalo blue. And in my world, I think that ultramarine is cool and phthalo is warm. But the jury's still out on that apparently. Um, also, I might end up using a little bit of carbon black. I am going to start off with a very dark, dark value and get the um, dark shapes in first. Okay, so I think that uh, we'll start with these colors. I may add a few others, but I will definitely let you know which ones they are. Um, okay, so I don't have a plan drawn out or a thumbnail sketch. so. I'm just going to casually mark lightly in with um, some kind of shapes or where things are going to go. Just for a good. So this is a pastel, beautiful soft pastel that I actually made by hand with, under the guidance of Susan Wilgar, the absolute best pastelist. She makes her own pastels and we were lucky enough to learn how to do that too. Okay, so now the, um, the dark uh, shapes are nice and dry, so I'm going to go in with some mid-value and maybe a little bit of light at the same time. The main thing is that all of the surfaces are covered or have some kind of paint on them so that we can um, judge the shapes, because at that point, that is when you want to change it. You don't want to work in one area too long think it's beautiful and you get the rest of the painting in and it doesn't work. So you always want to work around the whole surface. Okay, so here we go.
So I can tell that this value over here is not low enough. So I'm going to go back into this. Okay, so we're at the point where there is a value everywhere. There's shapes everywhere. And this is where you judge your painting. It's critical that you do this here. So I'm going to take a couple minutes and take a look at it and see what needs to be changed. Okay, so after drying this piece and taking a look at it, I, there's a couple of things I want to alter because this is when I should do that. And one of them is this curve. I'm not really excited about that. It should be a little bit flatter. Okay, so in order to push that painting, this stuff back, I'm going to need to put these vertical trees in here. colors here. See what happens. This is the fun part of painting when you don't know what to expect. Okay, so if you recall, this was the reference that I was using. I didn't want a realistic painting of this. I wanted more of an emotional response to that photograph, which I feel that I have come up with. Um, in this contemporary way of painting, you, get, you allow yourself to that freedom to express yourself and let your, your own style come out. And I really encourage everyone to give this a go. Thanks for watching.